RG&E has been transitioning customers to smart meters, but some of you are telling us that you're waiting months to get a bill. So what's the deal? News 10 NBC investigative reporter Jennifer Lukey looked into the holdup. Over the last several weeks, we've started to see an uptick in complaints from RG&E customers who primarily live in apartment complexes that have just been upgraded to smart meters. They say they haven't gotten bills in months and they're worried when those bills finally arrive, they're going to get walloped. Sheila Krause has lived in her apartment in Victor for more than a decade. She's never had any issues with RG&E. Yep, we were billed in June, paid that bill beginning of July. But she hasn't gotten another bill since, and it's not just her. This is her neighbor. She didn't get a bill. Neither did at least a half dozen others in her complex. And every single time I called RG&E and talked to someone, I got a different story, a different excuse as to why we aren't being billed. The most recent explanation? Oh, well, we turned off our billing when we put the smart meters in. I'm like, but you didn't let us know. And you didn't turn it back on. And you didn't turn it back on. My concern is that my bill was going to be, you know, astronomical. And I'm, I'm a sing, you know, I'm all by myself here. I have bills, other bills to pay. Like that's a lot of money to try to figure out. Okay, well, what am I supposed to put away? Should I put money away? I'm, I'm like, I, just, I didn't know. I didn't know what they were going to bill me. We've taken other complaints from people who haven't been billed in months. So what's going on here? A spokeswoman for RG&E tells me there are no widespread issues, but. Quote, in some rare cases, less than 1% per month, a customer may be adjusted or delayed for various reasons. And the company will continue to examine our systems to ensure the transition to smart meter technology is as smooth as possible for our customers. Sheila says she shouldn't be the one begging to pay her bill. When they told me it's the customer's responsibility to reach out, no, it's not. It's not our, that's not good business practice. It's not good business practice. RG&E always tells me that customers should contact their customer service line directly with any billing issues. In this case, those customers did exactly that without success. But if you find yourself in a similar situation, start by calling that number and then just keep calling until you get a bill. And Victor, Jennifer Lukey, News 10 NBC.